How often do you see painting of the hill? It's very rare. But last week, I happened to paint one. Hello guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Last week, I painted the well-known freethinker activist and atheist, Mr. C. Devichandran, and was required to paint a semitic hill full of fire around his portrait. In this video, I am going to share with you my experience and lessons learned about painting realistic fire in acrylics and have some chat about the immense possibilities of composition in telling stories and conveying emotions through your paintings. So let's dive into the fun learning experience of painting the hellfire. If I am being honest with you guys, I am no expert in painting fire in any medium. I seldom paint fire and in fact I was never required to. If you know me, I am an amateur artist with some special interest in portraits. Sometimes, very rarely, I do paint still lifes and landscapes. The landscapes that an artist does are the reflection of the environment he lives in. And I live in a place called Kerala in the southernmost part of India, blessed with so many rivers and backwaters that you can't get away with a landscape composition without including water and greenery here. Everything is wet and damp. In fact, I am an expert in painting water droplets and I include them wherever possible in my composition. So in short, I am a newbie in painting fire and I am as excited as you are in learning this new technique. So let's discuss the context of this painting or technically speaking the composition which allows the storytelling in this painting under our four main sections. Mr. Ravichandran C, popularly known as R.C., is a well-known freethinker and a writer who is extremely vocal about his atheistic views. He takes a hard stance against a lot of other controversial topics too like organic farming, alternative medicine, economic superstitions, etc. and has a lot of haters too due to his controversial attitude towards these subjects. As for me, I am a big supporter of R.C. His ideas resonate with my thought process and answered many of the unanswered questions which had been bugging me for years. Now, both the supporters and haters are free to use the comment section below to voice their opinion. The idea of RC burning in hell would satisfy both the RC supporters and haters. This is not a paradox that the art puts forward. It's a simple manipulation of the belief system of the society by the artist to create a win-win situation for him. The idea itself was the inspiration behind this painting and not just the personality of R.C. Framing the painting was pretty easy as everything in this piece is referenced from Google Images. The idea of hell is different in different religions but a lot of fire seems to be a common component. It makes perfect sense also because fire is one commodity feared by all living beings from time immemorial. Now if you are enjoying this video please hit that like button so that it reaches more people. Thank you. Now coming to the real reason why you clicked into the video, that is painting fire. Since I am a newbie in painting fire, I decided to go by the classical approach of painting anything, that is color blocking the area with midtones and adding in layers to extract out the shape and texture of the object being painted. But soon I realized that such an approach is not going to work and the flames are going to look stiff and artificial. So I decided to approach it much more scientifically. If you look at a flame, majority of it appears in red, yellow and various gradients in between. But in reality, a flame has four parts. The outer zone of complete combustion which is also the hottest part and appears blue in color. The red zone which is moderately hot, the yellow zone where partial combustion is happening and the least hot yellow white zone in the middle. If you follow this color pattern in a layered approach, you can successfully pull off a flame. The shape of the flames vary but follow a natural pattern and the direction is vertically upwards unless there is some wind blowing. 
the outermost blue part is not visible in many cases as it merges with the background in real life situations small burning particles get fired around during a combustion process and are clearly visible in a contrasting background All those who are watching this video are free to fire up their imagination and write the title for this painting in the comment section below. After finishing with the hair, I painted a few figures around the face to imply the environment of hell. And this is the finished look of the painting. If you have reached up to this watching the video, thank you so much for spending the time with me. If you enjoyed watching this video, here is a video that I think you should watch next. Also, don't forget to subscribe. That's all from the video guys. See you all in the next. Till then take care and bye bye.